Sophia the First. My name is Sophia. It is to be just me and my mom. But then, mom married King Roland. Now, she's the queen of Enchantia. And I'm a princess. The trouble is, I don't really know anything about being a princess. I never had to do a royal wave. I'm not sure when to curtsy. Or even which fork to use at dinner. I'll never be as perfect a princess as my new stepsister, Amber. Just be yourself and you'll be fine, my mom tells me. I'm not sure that will work. How can I be myself and be a princess at the same time? Then King Roland, um, I mean my new dad, tries to help. He gives me a beautiful necklace called the Amulet of Avalor. Dad says it's a welcome to the family gift and that lots of princesses before me have worn it. Then he tells me we're having a royal ball in my honor. He says we'll dance the first waltz together. That's another thing I don't know how to do. Dance. Maybe there will be a dance class at my new school. Royal Prep Academy. The headmistresses are three fairies named Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. They promise to teach me everything about being a princess. Hooray! I do have a dance class. Amber lends me a pair of special shoes. I think she's starting to like me. Oh no! Amber tricked me. These shoes are under a magic spell. The whole class laughs at me. But even worse, I still don't know how to waltz. And the ball is tonight. Then I remember Cedric, the sorcerer at the castle. James, my stepbrother, says he has all sorts of magic spell. I ask Cedric to help. He writes down some magic words. He says if I recite them at the ball, I'll be able to waltz like real princess. Oh, hail Princess Sophia, says Bailiwick as I enter the ballroom. Shall we dance? The king says. I recite Cedric's magic words. Somnibus pupul is chala. But I don't start to dance. Instead, everyone at the ball falls asleep. Even Cedric. Oh no, what have I done? Help! I cry. Suddenly, my amulet glows and Cinderella appears. Your amulet brought me here, she tells me. When a princess is in trouble, another will come to help. Can you reverse the spell, Cinderella? No, I can't, but your new sister might be able to help. But Amber's been so mean to me, I say. Cinderella knows what it's like to have mean stepsisters. I wish I had given my stepsisters a second chance, she says. Perhaps that's what Amber needs. Then she disappears. Amber is still in her room. She never made it to the ball. She finally tells me why she's been acting so mean. I was worried that everyone would like you more than me, she says sadly. No one could ever be as perfect a princess as you, Amber. I told her about Cedric's magic spell. We search his workshop. 
and find a spell that will wake everyone up. We hurry to the ballroom. Wait, Amber says. I owe you a dance lesson. Now I know we're true sisters and ever after friends. When I get to the ballroom, I say the magic words and everyone wakes up. Then the king and I begin to waltz. I look over at Amber and smile. I can't believe how happy I am. I think I'm going to fit into this royal family after all. Sophia, my dad says, I'm so proud of you. You dance wonderfully. Thank you, your majesty. I mean, dad. You know, Sophia, being a princess is about having a good heart. And you're going to make a great princess. Dad, I've been wondering, why don't they call you King Roland II? Because my father was also named Roland. Well, I say, I guess that makes me Sophia the First. And I am one princess who can't wait to see what happens tomorrow and all the days happily ever after. The end.